starting off by priming my face and I'm using the ordinary high spreadability what did I say spreadability fluid primer to apply all over my face to prep the face for our foundation and next I'm using the wet and wild photo focus foundation in the shade desert beige this foundation is a shade too light for my skin tone but I'm going to make it work as you would see at the end of the video and I'm using my primer foundation brush to buff it into my skin not forgetting the areas I want covered my lips my forehead I'm blending down towards my neckline also because we want our skin to be evenly covered so we don't have any patches showing through and I'm now prepping my eye area with the early girl pro console in the shade warm honey I'm using the newborn one palette with that dark shade there just to define my outer eye area I'm using the Zoeva smoky shader brush to achieve that and next is to blend in with a clean blending brush and the next I should I'll be using is from the Nubian 2 palette this is from Juvia's place also using that rich brown shade there called Morocco using the same Zoeva smoky shader brush I'm just going to apply it toward my outer eye area to properly define it the more the darker the eyeshadow the more defined the area will be so using that same brush I went back to my newborn one palette and just used that shimmery corporate color there to apply it all over my eyelid not all over just the one third of my eyelid and making sure to apply it towards the inner corner area and then blend properly with the same blending brush we used the first time to shade to make sure all the colors are properly blended and now i'm using my morphe at the 5d palette and a small eyeshadow brush to properly to find my outer area so here i'm just using the brush to apply the colors on both eye areas so they are even and then i'm going in with a cleaner blending brush to just blend those eyeshadows to towards the outer area to elongate my eyes the more because i have very rounded eyes and the more i blend out my eyeshadow the more elongated my eyes will look now I'm applying a brow bone color still from my Morphe at 5D palette and this here is from Colourpop is the collaboration with Kathleen Light. I'm just using my fingers to press it into my eyelid area for that highlight there. So when it mixes with the other color you can see how bright and glowy it is. So I'm using my fingers to just press it and then going in with the same flat brush we used to apply our first color lid colors to just blend it in with the other eyeshadow so it looks even next i'm tight lining and i'm using the la girl glide on eyeliner pencil to just tight line my eyes and here we're concealing the other eye area and i'm using the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 25 to conceal and highlight my under eye area my nose my forehead my cupid's bow and my jawline and i'm blending it out with the primark beauty sponge Here is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in color transparent and I'm using the brush from Real Techniques. It's the Real Techniques setting brush to just properly apply the powder to, high, to set those, the highlights. And next is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Plus. I'm using the Real Techniques large powder brush to just apply it all over my face to set my foundation and my concealer and i'm using here is the physician's formula it's an a liquid eyeliner but in a pen form i'm just using it to draw an elongated wing eyeliner i'm making it pretty bold and long because i want it to blend with the rest of the eyeshadow to give me a more elongated I look so yeah that's what it looks like so I'm going to apply lashes next 
these are the lashes I buy from Aliexpress they are really fluffy and they get the job done so here is the MAC um, blush in the shade Koi Girl so I'm using a large brush to just evenly apply it all over my cheeks I'm not really a blush person so I'm not going heavy handed now I'm using the same colors I apply on my lid to just apply on my bottom lid to smoke it out i didn't really put much product it's the same brush i used in blend and i'm just using it to whatever product is on the brush to just apply on my lid area next i'm going with that same kathleen likes and color pop collaboration to highlight my inner corner eye area and my brow my brow bone it's a really lovely color very bright and and shimmery and it just highlights those areas you want highlighted and here is the mac and sharon osborne's collaboration it's the mac refresh mineralized skin finish i'm using the highlighter shade there to just highlight my cheekbones my cupid bow and my nose area my 11 which is just the left and right side of my brow bone that, that, that place i'm touching yep so here is the Jordana quick liner in the shade currently I'm just using it to outline my lips and fill in the corners more than the top and bottom area because we are going for an ombre effect this is a really bright dark purple color very lovely shade but it does bleed a lot and here is the MAC lipstick in the shade Viva Glam 1 it's a matte lipstick and very true brown shade so yeah this is the finish look